Also, Carl, like, we didn't get a Moonstone. We didn't, and we're still in the, the lineup of losers. Fuck them all. <laughs> I hate bug type Pokemon now. Oh, like, no, like, we've turned Carl against the bugs. Friendship ended with bug types. Fairy oh, type no. is my new best friend. Oh, God. Like, this is before fairy types. It's weird. It, it does feel weird, doesn't it? Because they, they fit so well into the mythos. They do, and the fact that we even had, like, literal Pokemon like Clefairy. Called Clefairy. It makes so much sense. And then stuff like Snubble. Yeah. And it's like, oh, no, they're just normal types. The thing so is, how that, bland? How bland is that? It is a shame, but I'm thinking now, while well, we're just making a journey, is it Eurotech City? Uh, Ecritique? Ecritique City. I'm really badly pronunciation. I apologize, <laughs> guys. Right, while we're on the way there, right, do you have a favorite forgotten Pokemon? Like, Ooh. speaking of which, Stantler's just come in. <laughs> I was thinking, like, the other day, like, what's a Pokemon that I really like, but um, it's never going to come back, and it's Spoink. Yeah, the, the little the little pig. Yeah, and it, it evolves into Grumpig. Grumpig, yeah. And I'm thinking, why is Grumpig? That would fit really well into the Galar region. It's a pig. Then you go to a farm. Yeah, you like know? you could have a really cool, um, like Galarian form of it. I was just thinking, like, what's the weirdest Pokemon that I kind of like? It's like, yeah, I love, I love Grumpig and it's like little Spoink, the little um, uh, bouncy, springy pig. Yeah, uh, and hmm. We talked like last episode about like uh, Source Book and Stantler and stuff like that. Just these forgotten Pokemon that are probably never going to come back. Yeah. And to be fair, like, yeah, Source Book's definitely up there for me because I think its winter form looks fucking incredible. It's so fabulous. And, like, you know, Carl, I'm all about that fabulous Pokemon. Yeah, and I'm just looking now at Grumpig, and it's just a pure psychic type. So I think that's why it kind of fell by the wayside. Mm. Because there are so many good just psychic type Pokemon. And that's a shame. And I'm like, let's have a look. Let's have a look at its stats. Oh, Grumpig. Yeah, a decent special defense. Oh, God, the stomp. Oh, shit. Because it's Kane. normal pipe, isn't it? Uh, normal let's, type, you get stabbed. Let's try and see if Charles can, like, just pull this one out. I don't think he can. If he almost got quick attack. Oh, God, no. Let's go for the tackle and hope for the best. We can try. Charles, don't hate us. Oh, oh yeah, there we go. We've got yeah. Astonish. Wild Pokemon being stupid, yeah. The only astonishing thing about that is I missed. Oh, there we go. Yes, thank Perfect. you, Stanley. So now we get all the XP for this, don't we? Uh, no, we swap Maxi out. Shit, sorry. My bad. I'm looking at Grumpig's stats now. His stats weren't bad. Like, 90 special attack. Special defense is, like, 110. HP is pretty decent. Mm. And it's got a really... Because I just love the look of Spoink. Yeah. Spoink is so fucking cool because it's so shit. <laughs> now, look, the thing is, though, it doesn't really have anything good. Like, looking at its stats here. So I was thinking yeah. of like, a way to fix it, make it maybe ground type. Mm. Do you want know, to like, do a, a, um, a Galarian form that is more a pig? Do like, you want know, like, swine or something like that? Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, you make could make pig. it look more like an actual traditional like farm pig. So you could have like the mud on it, and then you could be like get away with it, making it a ground type. So I think a psychic ground would be an interesting type in. That would be really cool, yeah. And I just like the idea it's just a little pig, because then I could make the three little pigs team. <laughs> just have that and um, uh, drowsy. Like, all the ones with the weird snouts on there. Yeah. Like, do you have any like the Pokemon that you think, oh man, I kind of want this to come back just because how weird and lame it was, uh, interesting design wise. Well, um, one that we've already talked about in this playthrough is uh, Ledian. Yeah, like, oh god, like Ledian. No Pokemon got shit on harder than Ledian. Like, I could not believe its stats when I looked them up. Like, holy shit, this thing is awful. Yeah. Like, and, that is um, horrendous. One that I, I think is going to, like, is obviously quite a new Pokemon, but one I think is going to be really cool but left to the wayside is Kamala. Oh yeah, Kamala's never coming back. Like, Kamala is one of those Pokemon that is one of my favourite from um, Sun and Moon. And I just, I literally know that it's going to get that fate. Because it is a normal type and it doesn't have anything interesting. And its ability is really strange and must be difficult to balance around. Yeah. Its ability so that's the thing is, now. the ability it, it has is really difficult to, like, make something work from it. Like, it, it did alright in Sun and Moon, but... Like, compared to having other Pokemon that you can transfer forward, 
But it's it a super interesting nothing. Pokemon because it had um, Comatose, is it? Comatose, Where yeah. It always acts as if it's asleep, even when it's awake, which means So it that... can't get any status effect on it. But you can also do moves that you can only do when you're asleep, like Snore. But the thing is, Snore's terrible. Yeah. So the only like, bonus you have from it is, like, oh yeah, you can do attacks that you can only do when you're asleep, like Snore, that 50 damage special normal move. Mm. Or you could just do Swift. Yeah. <laughs> which is better in every way and it never misses. Oh, I'm just looking at um, uh, Grumpig now, and it has thick fat as an ability. That's super strong. Oh, I gotta leave. Bye. Yeah, thick fat's a really good ability. You're not allowed in, Lucas. Fuck you. So we've got to go to the. Like, Morty's but, the guy in the burnt tower. Yeah, so we have to go to the burnt tower. But so I can't got... remember what we're meant to do to get past Morty. I think we just get to the burnt tower. No, because remember. No, we can go up now, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because we did that, um... Yeah, rival battle! Oh, there we go. Nuzlocke, oh! Okay, fuck you, Nuzlocke. Look, yeah, it is completely unique. Uh, nothing else has, um, uh, comatose. No, it doesn't, know. It's just it a Kamala. It is a completely unique ability, and I'm just reading about it now. It's like, yeah, it can't have, um, uh, stats conditions. Mm-hmm. It can not be afflicted with stats conditions, or become drowsy due to yawn. Which is a really powerful move in like competitors, isn't it? It is, yeah. And it's a really good Pokemon for like switching in when you think people are gonna use like Will O Wisp or Yawn or something like that. Which says here that you can always use Dream Eater on it as well. Oh shit. But that's like quite a niche setup. Not many uh, Pokemon go for like the hypnosis um Dream Eater thing. Oh, but mean look. And we are Relatively under leveled. We are, yeah, but that's the problem. Is there's oh, nowhere God, to Carl. train. Uh, I we, guess we'll use raw because yes, he's can. locked us in. We can't. Yeah. He's used mean lock. You could burn it. But is it worth just roaring just and roar it and get something else in a burn? Get out. something else that we can actually. Oh no. Curse. Oh, he's used mean lock curse on us. Oh man, look at that! Look at this competitive dickhead. Oh, we switched it out, so now we don't get the kill. Oh, Max, it would have died next to you take a quarter of your damage every turn. Oh, God. Lucas, the best we can do is just burn. Burn everything. Yeah. Burn it all to the ground. Oh, God. The worst part is, as well, I'm looking at Kamala. His attack stats like 115. Is it? That's, that's really good. Is it that high? It's that high. Jesus. Because I tried to, like... Um, I mean, it learns Woodhammer. Look into making one and was like... Oh yeah, like you can make it work, but it's not great even if you use like the best setup it has. Yeah, but it's uh, got really high attack, um, contrary to what you think. And it's, de like, it's decent all round, but as I say, that's, that thing's never coming back, even yeah. though it's really interesting and fun. Like that thing is, it's a really cute Pokemon, it's really interesting and unique, and I know it's the type of Pokemon that's never going to get any love. Because no one cares. Yeah. It's, it's up there with Grumpig, mate, a little spoink. Um, oh, I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to go through some of these Sun and Moon Pokemon now because I'm on the uh, Bulbapedia now. So oh, okay, yeah. We're going to try to beat this guy. Here's another one that's never fucking coming back, even though it has. Turtonator. Oh, God, Fuck yeah. Turtonator. But that's the thing is, like, Turtonator isn't a Pokemon I want to come back. Yeah, because it looks so terrible. It's just lame. But then we've got Togedemaru, which I fucking adore. Oh, Toga tomorrow is like pretty it, cute because it's steel electric, so it's like Magnemite. But then it has um, uh, it learns Spiky Shield. Yeah, which is a really cool mobility. So I made an ultra defensive one, um, that new Nuzzle to get that uh, paralyzed straight away. Yeah, Spiky Shield, and then Magnet Rise to hide. And then you can give it a Rocky Helmet as well. You can. So and then with Iron Barbs. When they do get an attack, they take loads of damage. You can also learn Fake Out. So I think my new Fake Out Nuzzle, um, Spiky Shield, and then to be a dick, Fell Stinger. I like how you said to be a dick when that was already the most dickish <laughs> setup there was. Because Fell Stinger is one of my those moves I adore because it, it really speaks like how versatile bug types can be. Mm. And people wonder what his Fell Stinger is. If you get a kill with it, you raise your you double your attack. Yeah, so it's only like a twenty base power move. Base fifty. It's pretty powerful. Wait, base 50? Base 50 now from Generation 8. I'm on this page for it now. Ah, from Gen 8. 
Well, like some of the like Sobble can learn it. Because um, I had a Mega Beedrill that had Felstinger. And the point yeah. was, like, come in on weak Pokemon, Mega Beedrill super fast, so get the revenge kill, and double your attack straight away instead of needing Sword Stance. And it's like, holy shit, that moves super good. But Felstinger was only, like, base 20 at the time, I think it was. Which just means that that's why it's so good, because you have to, like, time it right. We know it's base 50 now. Jesus. You know, it can also be learned by Buzz Swan. Because that's fair. Oh, wait, the Ultra Beast thing. Yeah, the Ultra Beast can learn it. Jesus Yo, Christ. Yeah, that's super powerful bug type. Oh man, I'm just looking now at the Pokemon that can learn Felstinger, and I forgot another forgotten. I've real, I've seen another forgotten Pokemon that's never coming back that I actually really like because it's interesting and it's uh, got fairly unique typing. Cacnea. Cacnea is never coming back, is it? Oh, Cacturn as well. Cacturn, yeah. Cacnea. We're never getting that back, are we? Nah. So I thought, oh man, Do I, I really... remember like having one of those in my actual playthrough of um, Ruby and Sapphire. Mm. I had one and I really like my Cacnea because it's a mixed attacker so it can learn loads of different moves. It's really versatile. Yeah. And it was the first Pokemon where that's one of the ones that made me realise I like grass types because it learns Ingrain. And I remember uh, like okay. Ingrain with Giga Drain. And it's like, oh, that's so fucking cool. So this Magnemite has us actually pretty shut down. Because he's got a really good defence. Because we've just not got Pokemon set up to like defeat it. And that's the problem, isn't it? Where we don't really have many special moves yet. Pamela might be able to do it though, just with Razor Leaf. Just like through sheer power. Um, but it has got Sonic Boom. Which does, oh fuck's sake. So it, just, like, so it does a it. set 20 damage every time. Can we not? And we can't poison it, can we? It's steel. Yeah. Can we poison steel in this version? Nope. That's wrong. So it's got, because it, what it did to Nidorina uh, while you were looking was like, it did um, Paralysis Confusion. Oh, man, that's a really good combo as well. So it's like, this guy is just like, I'm going to shut your Pokemon down. That's why he's a Nuzlocker, mate. Yeah, that like he is literally playing like a fucking competitive battler right now, which I appreciate. And I, I wish there was a few more Pokemon battles like this. Where the person is really... This is what we're under-leveled, but... Oh. We are under-leveled, yeah, very much so, and... I, I think Pokemon would be really frustrating to get through if every battle was this hard. It would be. But I'd like a few more thrown in there because... And maybe the final battle. Most battles that you go through, you don't even have to think. I, oh, man. I've just realised as well, one of the reasons I like Cacturn so much is it had one of the coolest moves, I think. Needle Arm. Which oh, is, yeah. It's the grass equivalent of like Fire Punch and Thunder Punch. Oh, God. There we go. And that, uh, and again, again, I'm just on Bulbapedia looking at white moves and stuff like that. That move's never come back. No Pokemon except Cacturn and Chestnut can learn it. Like Maractus like, can Chestnut learn was it. what? Two generations ago? Yeah. But Maractus can learn it, and I know that is in Gen 8 because I've caught one um, for a team that I'm building, but it doesn't learn it in Gen 8. Oh, for fuck's so sake. They've removed that move from the game. And it's one, yeah. again, one of the most unique and interesting things about Cacturn. It's like, oh, yeah. It's the grass equivalent of Fire Punch. Hmm. There we go. Shut down this Magnemite finally. And like, we, like, don't really want to be wasting health items all the time, but for this battle we might need a few. You might have to. Oh god. Just looking at um, uh, Cacturn's move pool as well, it's so fucking good. Yeah. Because it can learn uh, Power Up Punch, Smelling Salts, Teeter, so you can make it into like a mixed attacker, or you can learn Belch. If you want to take advantage of its special attack, because it has like really good special attack and really good um, attack, they're both even. So you can like you know focus it either way you want. You I can do also learn stuff like Switcheroo, like... Teeter Dance, Worry Seed, Nasty Plot, Low Kick. Yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of stuff in there that sounds like oh this can be kind of bullshit, but it just doesn't have like the stats and the love in newer generations to make it work. But it does have a very wide move pool, which means it can. It's one of those Pokemon I think is. Not as scary as a meta Pokemon because they're just going to be their stats are just better than yours. Yeah. But it's a scary in the sense that you don't know what it's going to do because yeah, it's exactly. a mixed attacker and it can learn a very wide variety of moves. So I think I had a couple. So I said it's a Pokemon I really like. I had a couple of grass teams mm. and I had like the, the traditional, the bulky one, the Leech Seed, Spiky Shield. Same thing as like, you know, to send it out there to just do the defense with Sucker Punch and yeah. stuff like that. You can also learn Destiny Bond. Fucking hell, this Pokemon was awesome. 
Bring back Cacturn! Like, I would say there's a good half of the Pokedex that is just forgotten about. Like, look Because there's that many shit. Pokemon now. Because the reason I'm getting so hype about this is because um, very recently, I've been, uh, because you got me back into Pokemon thanks to this playthrough, <laughs> I loaded up my um, Sword and Shield and have been just making yeah. some interesting teams, and some interest in, interesting um, uh, builds. Yeah. And um, one I came up with the other day, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's not unique, but I like the idea of it is, I've got my Lanoon, which is one of my favourite Pokemon. I love Lanoon. Uh, so I've got Galarian Lanoon and, you know, Surf. And I'm thinking, why would you teach a Galarian Lanoon Surf? That's because Galarian Lanoon is so fast. And I put in doubles battles with, um, is it like Colossal? Oh, yeah, Which, yeah. When he gets hit by a water attack, Steam Engine kicks in and raises its speed six stages. Six stages? It, six stages, yeah. Because its base speed is like 30. So I was like, oh, that's not really that good until I did the math and realized, oh, when it gets raised six stages, it's faster than Ninjask. What? But then I'd give it a weakness policy as well. Oh, God. So first turn, Lanoon uses Surf. Colossal gets a... Um, double attack boost to special and uh, physical and it's a mixed attacker as well so you can take advantage of both and then its speed gets raised six stages oh god can't lie so turn one and it knows heat wave which attacks both things at once <laughs> so turn one i've got a pokemon that's now got base six speed and a plus two attack on the Jesus first turn Christ. And I just, I just, it's not great i tried it in like battle town and got his ass kicked yeah. Because it's very specific what it can do. I just like the idea of turn one. I've got like um, 10 boosts at once. <laughs> what do you think about <laughs> that? Like, on the first turn, I've got 10 boosts. Oh, God. How ridiculous is that? That is. That is ridiculous. It was like... Uh, I just like Gasly just killed itself. Oh, basically. Yeah. No, Max is like not even confused. But I really enjoy that. And then another one is Palisand, which I really hated. But I've made a build I, in the same vein. It knows water compaction. Oh, okay, yeah. Hit by a water type move, its defense rates two stages, and I thought well, that's useless because it's gonna die. And so I thought, well, in doubles battles, I can use the same tactic that I do with um, uh, Colossal. Mm. And to, again, weakness policy to raise its attack two stages. So first turn doubles its defense. Its special defense is amazing. It's got really good typing in Ghost and Ground. Right, yeah. And then it raises its special attack by two stages. It's got really strong special defense, and it knows uh, like Giga Drain. So I had a similar thing where it was like. Um, teach a Pokemon that's not physically very strong. Beat up. Yeah, you do that. What Pokemon is it you do that with? And then I attack, I think um, it was my Gallade, because it was justified, I think. And every time it gets hit by a dart type attack, its attack rate uh, gets raised one stage. Yeah, so, so you do that, and it gets like hit three times and immediately gets its attack like 2.5 times. And then you give it a choice band and just do Shadow Sneak. It's just really, oh, like, I win. You can do so many things like, oh, I've just like over doubled my attack in one go. Yeah. And then it's like, oh, okay, well, like you can do so many different tactics with that. It's like, it's like um, you can just make him bulky and use like Drain Punch and shit like this. Is that bringing back to like Felstinger? Using Felstinger on an ally Pokemon? Yeah. I, I never thought that was a tactic until I started doing it in doubles. No, uh, it can be. Yeah, like if you think, well, this Pokemon is about to die and it's going to be a bit useless. Just use Fell Stinger on your own Pokemon to yeah. double your attack. And then, oh man, another one that I've really been liking is the move Retaliate. Yeah. Because that's what I've given to my Lanoon. So my Lanoon switches out and brings in like another one to like back up my Colossal. And when the Lanoon comes back in, it uses Retaliate, which does double damage <laughs> if the Pokemon be fainted. But then because it's a normal type, it gets the stab as well. So it does like 200 damage. Yeah. But there's just something really hilarious about the revenge badger. Oh, God. Do you know, like the super anime cutscene you get when you do revenge? <laughs> and it's just this little Lanoon, like a foot long, just diving headfirst through someone like Goku to King Piccolo. <laughs> it's like, why would you challenge my badger? Oh, God. Oh, man. This guy's just smoke screen, smoke screen, smoke screen. You know what? I respect it. But yeah, I've been really getting into my Pokemon, right? And I don't. The problem is, I'm so shit. That I refuse to make meta teams or meta Pokemon. So I'm like, oh yeah, I'm really excited about my Palo Sand. Yeah. Pokemon no one gives a shit about, but it's really good. And like, um, if anyone's watching this and doesn't know, like me and Carl, have a couple of times on my channel, like, just streamed me doing some online battles. Yeah. And like, trying to use interesting stuff, but it's just so funny. Like, I've been trying and then people are just like, oh, Urshifu. 
<laughs> yeah, it's a casual battle. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna rock it with fucking Urshifu, great. Yeah, and it's like, oh great, but I'm I'm trying out like just weird stuff like rocking my Sinsino as like my lead Pokemon and stuff. Um, but like, last thing is, I love getting into the nitty gritty with weird Pokemon. Yeah, and just it's more interesting than just because a lot of the meta Pokemon have like one or two builds. It's just oh, go on to like. Smogon, what's the uh, OU setup? Oh, it's this one. Give it these four moves and this one ability and do this one tactic and it's like, oh, great. Yeah, and you win every single time. Whereas, like, we just talk about Cacturn from its move pool and its stats. Like, I was looking at things like, there's four different builds I can make with this. And yeah. It'll all be quite useful. Oh, my God. It's oh, the crit. Man. Fucking hell. So oh, another crit. one I thought, I was, like, looking at um, what are the lesser known Pokemon, like, the new generation? It's like Sinistee. Who gives a fuck about Sinistee? It's a plain ghost type in a you game. You know what, Carl? Gengar... It took me a minute to realise what Pokemon that was. Yeah. Because it's plain ghost type and Gengar's in the game. The fuck yeah. would you not use Gengar? But I looked and one of its abilities is T-Time. The like, it's, it's signature move. Yes. What does T-Time do? Oh, every Pokemon eats its berry. Uh, how will that be useful? And I thought, oh, how about a doubles battle with the ones that like, you know, raise attack two stages when you're in a pinch? How oh, about shit, yeah. turn one, do that, and then give That's it as really well. Good. Then give it a berry that raises its speed or something, and it also learns Shell Smash. Oh my god. So first turn, do that to like power up your teammate, and then smell, uh, Shell Smash next turn. And you basically, again, you got like 10 attack boosts, and if it survives, <laughs> you sleep with it. Yeah, there's some really like cool tactics with double battles, and that's why I love it. Because it's not just what does this one Pokemon do, it's... What do these two Pokemon do together? And when you've got to like um, play around not hurting your teammate, or in some cases actively hurting your teammate to power them up. Yeah. Like one of the other ones is like a uh, Flash Fire, where I yeah. figured out oh Flash Fire um, activates if you use Will O Wisp. Oh. So you can use Will O Wisp in double battles to activate Flash Fire, um, to give you a fifty percent attack boost for that turn, and then use like Overheat. Oh, I never knew that. Yeah. So if you've got like, a double battle, and you can teach like Will O Wisp for any random Pokemon. Use Will O Wisp on your own teammate. Like, uh, I think Flash Fire can be learned by Arcanine and stuff. Uh, I can't remember if Arcanine does know Hold Flash on, Let's Fire. see what learns it. I, c I can't remember because I always just do Intimidate on Arcanine. Ah, oh, fair enough. So, so, yeah, it can be learned by Arcanine, uh, Nine Tails, um, Typhlosion, Chandelure, like Colossal and stuff like that. But think about like a Chandelure, which is really high special attack. Just, yeah. Oh, well, I'm going to use a Will O Wisp on it. Um, give it a 50% boost to its fire attack and then use overheat in a double battle. I think it's only um, regular attack, not special attack. I think it's just any fire type move. I'm on the page now, it says any fire type move just gets um, an increase of 55, uh, 50%. Oh, uh, okay. So I thought it was just, oh, it boosts your attack. Fuck's sake. Oh, that growler. Those crits. I was like, oh, we'll go, come in and get poison powder on. Like, fuck it, we'll do it anyway. Sniffing you, Lucas. He's sniffing. Oh, God. I'll, I'll oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, God. There we go. I do oh, like Come on, don't get paralyzed again. Like, Growler, look how fucking awesome it is. Oh, for oh, fuck's sake. The miss. Oh, oh there we go. What move for you as well has missed the most? Like, what eh? move, like, because there are certain moves that I absolutely refuse to use just because of how much they've missed in, like, uh, Battle Tower and stuff. Yeah, um, oh. I'd say for me, Stone Edge. Oh god, yeah, Stone Edge fucking, it's like, what, 80%? Yeah, and it just seems to miss so many times. There's I so mean, many Battle Tower battles I've had where I've lost because, oh, my 80% like accuracy move missed three times on the run. And the problem is, is like, Rock is a really good attacking type, but there are no real good Rock moves that are guaranteed to hit. Like, there's no Rock equivalent of Earthquake. No, because like the two best moves are like Stone Edge and Rock Slide, and both don't have 100% accuracy. And then you compare it to Earthquake, which is 100 damage, 100 accuracy. It's like, why would you not have Earthquake? It's yeah. so good. Well, it's because Rock's the better um, attacking type. But even then. Oh, Charles. So I'm trying oh. to think, like, what is like, the best like Rock type move? We're going to have a look now. So moves. Like, what's the one that's got like the best accuracy? Yeah. Um, by the looks of it, uh, I even Head Smash. Head Smash has an 80% um, accuracy, which is the same as, um, what was it now? Stone Edge? Why would you not just put Head Smash on? 
Mm. I'm lucky now. Not as it's like God call. We might die here, you know. By the way, he's gonna get us. He's gonna get us. Fucking hell, Charles. Charles is the only one left, and we've only got regular potions. So if Growlithe gets like a lucky crit on me now, which he's going to, because yeah. Okay, oh, let's go. go. Let's go. Yeah, looking at it, um, the best rock type move for accuracy, if you want to guarantee a hit, is either Power Gem, which is a special rock, which is like no more ancient there. power. Ancient power is sixty. Yeah. The most powerful physical that's going to hit every turn is um, Smackdown at fifty damage. Fucking hell. Or Rock Two, I think. Which is no, that's ninety-five. So I can still miss. Which I think wow. goes to show how powerful rock type is. Because they powerful. can't give you accurate moves. Because it give you one hundred percent accuracy, it'd be so fucking powerful. Because rock type yeah. <laughs> is so good. Which is why rock uh, stealth rock basically ruined the game. Yeah. Because it's super effective against some of the best typings. Hey, it's just like oh man. And some of the most prevalent typings, because like. Fire, Borg, and Flying are all very, very common Pokemon types. Uh, yeah, as as is Fire, Ice, all of them. Yeah, they? yeah. Do you remember, have you, have you ever encountered, oh yeah, I'm going to bring my Charizard out when Stealth Rock's out, and you lose 50% of your health on the first turn. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, I've oh, had okay. like, I've had it where my last Pokemon has just been a Charizard and it, or a Talonflame, and I've just sent it out and it's been like, oh, well, I'm dead. So fucking harsh. Oh, and let's maybe go and heal. Maybe heal, yeah. Like, Potentially. Though, I really do like Rock. Because uh, one of my teams that I used to like making is the Fossil Team. Like, you yeah. your, like your Oma Star, um, your Kabutops. Got all that that's so there. annoying because like, um, so many of the Pokemon that I've trained, like I had like quite an interesting little Kabutops. And it's just like, oh, he's, he's not in the game right now. And the thing is, I really like Kabutops. Yeah, he's one of my favourites. <laughs> really like cool. the Genesect. Yeah, that's the rumour, isn't it, that uh, Genesect is just built on the skeleton of a Kabutops. Yeah, because there's loads of things suggesting it, and um, I don't know whether they've actually like confirmed it at any point, but it's essentially like, oh yeah, Genesect is an ancient Pokemon that's been built upon, mm -hmm. and then you look at the design of Genesect, and, and it Perry. almost matches up to Kabutops perfectly. So I can see this, I can see this. Oh, it's Ian. How are you? Listen so, up. So Ian. Yeah, wild drowsy. Oh, fuck's sake. Thanks. What a loser. Thanks. Do you know what the best bit is? They never ask you how you are. No. <laughs> I, I respect that so much. Just call someone up. I, yeah, here's my life. Fuck you. Uh, Like, call them up. By the way, an early cut of drowsy. Bye. Uh, thanks. Oh, man, so Did we just... talk to this guy? Did we battle him? He, he just said, like, there's... um. Oh, this is this is Morty. So I think it's and the other guy was um, the the one that's like, obsessed with, um, what's it called? Suicune. Yeah, he says that when we get down there. So I think this is where you release them, isn't it? You release how when it releases all the legendary dogs. I think you just go down there and scare them away. And then it's like, oh, the gym leader. Well, I've got no reason to be here now. I guess I'll battle you. Yeah. 